Isn't this beautiful? And God called the light day and the darkness. The last two years, I made this video, and that's how to create the picture in picture on the Vimy software. Which are by the Bible on the other side. Those are the OFT requested. I make a live version of the tutorial for OBS. The best part is it does not require any graphics knowledge. Just with these two amazing OBS plugin, I'm going to introduce you. You could use it to create. You can see here on my camera, I have like the shadow, the curve. You could use it to create this amazing thing on your own OBS software. And you could use it for your interview. You could use it for your Bible and be the preacher display. You can use it for anything. Give the video a thumbs up if you find it helpful. And without any further ado, Let's dive into the tutorial. Also note that I will drop the consultation link in the description of this video. Should in case you have any private question or you maybe want to contact me one on one, you want me to tutor you, you can also use that link. First off is the plugin that we're going to be using for this. And that is the Advanced Max. As the first one, the second one is the Stroke Blue Shadow Effect. And that is what I use to create this nice looking effect you can see right there around my camera. And here is how you can be able to implement this. Go ahead and download these two plugins. I'll drop the link in the description of this video. Click on this download button here. I should go back to the second one, and that's the advanced max. Also, click on this download button here. Once you're done downloading this to plugin, go ahead and install it. Let me show you a quick one on how you could be able to install it. This is it right here on the screen. So once you just click on it, you just go ahead and install it on your own. So I have it running already, so I don't need to install it again. Same thing with the strokes, glow, and shadow. And that is it right here on the screen. Just right click, open, and you can also install this as well. Now, once you're done installing this to plugin, Let's dive in and let me show you how you can be able to use it and create this nice effect. You could use your live video feed for it, the pre-recorded video, depending on whichever one you feel comfortable with or you want to use a particular point in time. And I'm going to be using a live video feed of my camera for this demonstration. Now I have my phone connected on my system using Droid Cam, and that is what I'm using to record this video. And if you haven't subscribed to now, please smash that subscribe button. Let's continue. Go ahead and click on this add button here at the bottom of the screen. That's the add source. Click on that and then click on the video capture device. Select that. And then you can now bring in your camera, be it from your phone camera, your normal camera, from your mixer. Just bring in your camera. See how mine is looking here on the screen without any of those effects that I just showed you earlier. Now go ahead and click on, right click on it and go over to filters. Right click and go over to filters. Remember, install the plugin before any of this. And once you're already here on the filters, click on this plus sign here, that's the add button on the filters. And you're going to see the advanced max. That's the plugin that you just installed. Click on that. Just go ahead and click on add. And this is how it's going to look like. See, we just reduce and shrink my camera. On the max type, you have different ones that you can use, but we're going to be using shape for the purpose of this tutorial. And then on the shape down, you also have like French shape, you could use circle, but we're going to be using rectangle for it. And then on the max effect, leave it on alpha max, all right? Where you see this here on the screen, the max geometry here on the screen. You can just, if you want it to go to the left, to go to the right. So let's just position this at the center. Go down, you're going to see the width and the height, the zoom as well. Now on the width here, you can increase it. On the height, you can also increase that depending on how you want it to look like. So let's increase this a little bit. So increase this a little bit, perfect. And then on the zoom, you can decide to zoom in your camera and decide to zoom out, you can set to zoom in. So then I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. And once you've already gotten this, on the corner radius here, you can also increase that. You know, this will give it this nice look. If you don't want, you can just set it on zero. But if you want to just have that curve, you know, that nice curve on, on it, just you can set it on 41, depending on, or maybe 33, depending on you know, how you want the curve to look like. And once you're done, go ahead and click on this plus button here again on the effect filters. And then you're going to see stroke and you're going to see shadow. Now I'm going to go over to the stroke and show you what it looks like with the stroke. And then we're going to go over to the shadow and show you what it looks like with the shadow. Now if you click on this stroke here, click on this is how it's going to look like. Now you can select the color that you want to use. Maybe let's see, I want to use red on it. This is how it's going to look like, but let me just put it back on the white one. 
this is how it's going to look like. Now on the stroke size, I can decide to increase it. And this is how it's going to look like. I can decide to reduce it. Put it on the full file. This is how it's going to look. Now, just once you're done, the position here, leave it on outer strokes. On the stroke size, increase or decrease. On the offset, leave it on zero. The offset quality, just leave it on fast. And then on the color, pick whichever color you want to use. And this is how it looks like with the stroke. Let me just turn this off. Click on this add button again. And let's go over to shadow. Click on the shadow. And over here on the shadow, on the position, leave it on outer shadow. On the plot type, leave it on this triangular here. And the size of the shadow, you can increase that also. Maybe to 13 or 15. Let me just put 15. Intensity could also reduce or increase that as well. Intensity, you can increase or decrease that. And then on the color, let's change it to red so that we can see what we are doing. This is going to look like. So the intensity, you could reduce that, you could increase that. You see, this is how it looks like. And then on the size here, you could also increase or decrease that. On the shadow distance, you could also insert it on zero. So it will be equal on all the edges. This is it here on the screen. And this is how it looks like with the shadow. And this is how it looks like with the stroke. So depending on whichever one you want to use. And you can still use the two of them at the same time. And this is how it looks with the two of them combined. So let's just go ahead and close this. And this is how my camera looks like. Just position your camera where you want it to be. I removed the picture in the background. And this is how it looks like without any background at all. And let's bring in the picture that I want to use as our background. Go over here on my download. Let's find any beautiful picture. Oh, okay. That's the picture right here. So just drag and drop it on the OBS software. And this is the picture right here. So let me just move it down. This is the picture. Right click on the picture here. Go over to transform. Then put it on the feature screen. And this is how the picture looks like. And this is our video. And that is the background right there. So you could use any background you want to use. Okay, picture or video. Now let's go ahead and open the Bible Show software. This is the Bible Show software here. Now, how do you configure that? Let's go over to the configure tab. And then from here, go over to the display and you could turn on the NDI output. If you want to use it, it will be a software on the same PC. Turn on the NDI, or NDI output and then turn on the display here. Okay. Then go over to the teams again. Just pop up any scripture that you want on the Bible Show. And then go over to the UBS software, click on this add button here, and then go over to your NDI source here on UBS. Click on that, click on OK, and let's click on this. Here we're going to see the Bible Show NDI, and just click on OK, right click on it, go over to transform, and then fit to screen. Reduce this size, use it very well, use it properly well, and let's reduce this, and then Position it side by side here. And once we are comfortable with the positioning, right click on it, go over to filters. We're just going to go ahead and apply the stroke on the scripture. I'll click on this here. And let's go ahead and apply the advanced marks. On this, on the advanced marks, I'm just going to increase the weight here. Increase it very well. Just increase. Now to increase, increase it. Then on the height, increase it. Use it a little bit. And then you go ahead and click on the add button again and select your stroke. Click on OK. And the stroke, you can increase the size and increase it, increase it, increase it to the number you want. Then set your color to what you want. Close this. And you can see here, this is the two of them side by side. And that's the Bible on the side. And that is your preacher on the other side. Now, how about if I don't want my live video feed to be on landscape, I want it to be on portrait. Here is how you can also do that as well. Now, go over to your live video feed. Right click on it. Go over to filters. Now, where you have the advanced marks, all you have to do is just for you to reduce the width. Okay? And then use the center X or Y to position it where you want it to be. And once you are done, you can now increase the height. See? now increase the height how you want it to look like and if everything is okay with you just go back again and go over to the advanced max and let's increase the width just a little bit increase it a little bit then the height let's increase that a little bit and then let's close it and we can increase this size here this is how it's going to look like
and then on your Bible, you can also increase the size. And this is how it's going to look like. See what you have there on the screen. So you have your, maybe your preacher or maybe the person that is talking on one end and then the Bible on the other end. Now you can use it for interview. But you have to just to create the guest and then the host side by side. Just apply the same effect and you are good to go. Just bring in any picture as your background or video that you want to use as your background and you are good to go. Isn't this beautiful? And God called the light in the darkness. So how about if you want to use Easy Worship 7? It's still the same process. Let's just go ahead and close this Bible show here. This Bible show and open the Easy Worship 7. On the Easy Worship 7 software, go ahead and click on this edit here at the top of the screen. Go to options. Here you have your outputs. Put, set your output monitor on NDI stream. And then once you're done, click on OK. Open the OBS software. Go ahead and click on this add button here, this plus button at the bottom of the screen. And select NDI source. Click on OK. Click on the NDI source. You should be able to see the Easy Worships live. Click on OK. This is how it's going to look like. Now you can just reduce the size. Position it where you want it to be. See here, that's, let's just bring it down a little bit. Perfect. Right click on it. Go over to view that's Click on this plus sign and let's go ahead and add our shadow. You can either add shadow or stroke. Okay, now select shadow. I just want the one I'm going to be using. And this is what you have here on the screen. On the size, you can increase the size of the shadow. On the shadow distance, you can reduce this. And then on the intensity, you can also increase it a little bit. Then close. And this is what you have right here on the screen. Now let me project this and show you the full screen, how it, how it looks like. So even if on your house broadcast, you can use any background for it. This is really, really amazing. Even if you don't know how to design, how to do any graphics, you can be able to create this unique design for yourself. Remember to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and see you on the next one.